Why, hello everyone, welcome and good day. Welcome to Playframe, welcome to Horizon Zero Dawn. We are still in this very story-dense environment, and I hope we're basically where we left off. I didn't have, like, a campfire, and I don't know where autosave <laughs> brought us back, but hopefully we're right about where we left off, is the point. Welcome to Hades. Not quite. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I think this might be where we left off. You know, we'll find out. <laughs> it's been a week. For me, anyway. Uh, yes? Elizabeth's office? Yes? No? I'm here for more stories. Here's something. Us would benefit from antelope morphologies. Low caprate form mm -hmm. shows superior load bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... ...unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... ...causes me to experience... ...a grief... ...that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Hmm. Okay, so we're definitely into rooms with new things now. Are we in her office? This seems like it must be her office. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect... distress. Are you alright? I'm fine! I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead, in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you? More things. Find me more things. Wait. You see one in there? How do I get in there? Yep. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is, give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Hmm. Get me in there to more information, I need it. Elizabeth, why is your office so difficult to navigate? Here we go. Let me in. Yes. 
resume detectiving. Okay. Odyssey has failed. From Elizabeth Sobek to all Alphas. All? Some terrible news, I'm afraid. Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Elizabeth. Ooh, a crate. Elizabeth, I'm taking your things. Should have brought a cart. Uh. Okay. Artemis status. From Charles Ronson to Elizabeth Sobeck. It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it, if those words can still mean anything. I had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas, suspended in what-ifs. More than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere. Microorganisms and insects, rabbits and hawks, foxes and wolves. Thousands more that'll have to wait their turn till our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them, so they can return to a world that, this time, will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many too many too late. We lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples we lost were, well, irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The Earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again, but not now, not like this. Not on our watch. More. Hey, just keep the stories and the information coming, and I'll tell you when to stop. Oh boy. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this. I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Thank you. Finally, a compliment. Oh, hey, this guy. <laughs> Still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, 
Each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamin was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Hmm. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts. Haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men, meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas, meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you, here, so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be, predestined and preordained. Hmm. All true, but which? Which to do? Yeah. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine. Not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you must cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Hmm. The Nora cast me out at birth. You're not hurting me if you hurt them. Really? 
Then it makes no difference one way or another. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. And detectiving is going to be so much harder now. Karja faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! <laughs> Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the Behemoth. Mighty is the Behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Well, this will be tricky. Yeah, that's about my only hope. Whoop. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Yikes! Let's get it to run into this pillar too, huh? It's down. Oh, good enough. Okay. Thought that'd be harder. Yes. Hey. <laughs> okay, now this ain't so bad. We'll see what now I can manage. Big, dumb target. Darn it. Get it. Let's see. I need to be equipped slightly differently, though. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I would like to have... I mean, a trip caster would be nice, but a rope caster is a definite. Um, eh, let's keep it like this for now. 
Yeah. All over. Thank you. Oh, what best to do to it now? Is that... Uh, I can't remember. Is that chill stuff on its back or... Electrical... Come on, where's the... Darn... It's one of these darn things. Did I not manage to scan this thing at any point? Could have sworn I had, but maybe that got, like, forgotten at some point. And darn it, now I don't have my stupid focus. This is the worst. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be that thing. Darn it. Well, okay. <laughs> Guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. It looks sort of like electricity, so let's... Uh, well... Can't hurt to try. We'll try one. Freeze canister on the tips. Oh, it's freeze. Well, good to know. Nope, wrong. Get them both. And then... Oops. Well, it's nice and frozen now is the point. So, hold still, please, if you don't mind. Now, sorry, I need to get... <laughs> you need to get equipped with other things now. Uh, like this, for instance, yes. And sticky bombs time, go. Those components on the sides of its head. They've got something to do with slift attacks. Ow. And it's done. Fantastic. Whew. Oh, this is great. Now we're hanging out with him in person, and when he's sassy, we can smack him. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. <laughs> but I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah, 
Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. No. More answers from you. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corruptor to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! Nice to meet you. Well, looks like we got new stuff to do. Huh, do we go directly home or do we go save some folks first? Probably should do that first, right? Probably all part of the same quest, huh? Yep. Uh, the answer is Aloy has sought all her life are finally within her grasp if she can defeat the Eclipse invasion of the Embrace and fight her way inside the Tribe Sacred Mountain. I'm sure I can pull that off. How hard could it be? It's interesting looking at uh, story scenes here toward the end of the game, uh, because like the Good for an old remedy. there's a pretty significant difference in polish of like uh, story scene stuff, both technically and animation wise, uh, when you compare the stuff we saw at the beginning of the game to stuff here, which does make sense really. Like, it makes 100% sense that if they're going to be focusing their efforts while getting, like, polishing specific scenes while getting a, uh, the game closer to launch. Putting that effort toward the stuff at the beginning that everybody's going to see, that's going to make the first impression, is absolutely the right choice. But it is interesting seeing the, uh, that attention to polish, well, not really attention, but that ability to polish falling off a little bit as we get toward the end of the game. Which I assume is where we're at. <laughs> I mean, it could be there's a lot more game after this, but I assume... We're getting toward the end. It feels like it's starting to uh, accelerate in that direction at the very least. Well, let's get ourselves back to Nora territory, huh? See you there. That smell. Trees on fire. The embrace. Uh-oh. Watchtower's burning, but the Sentinels had time to warn the tribe. We better get back there. Ah, it feels good to be back in familiar stomping grounds. Look at this place. It... 
Oh. Yeah, it looks better. Yikes, trees are torn up and everything. It looked a lot better. Well. Time to start solving some problems, I guess. Oh boy. I saw a corruptor tail there. Yeah. Okay. Well. Let's get to work. Let's get loud. And let's uh, remove some bits. Almost forgot. Said, let's remove some bits, darn it. Where'd you go? Ow. Remove. Remove bits, I says. Thank you. Gracious. Now, be more on fire, if you please. You on fire yet? Not quite. Now you are great. Are you overheating? I really want you to overheat. Is the main thing. Keep overheating. You act like you're not overheating yet, and that's bothering me. Maybe I shouldn't even bother. Maybe I should just pin you down. Start finishing you off the old fashioned way. Ah, missed. Now you're done. Get out of here. Ah, I says. Thank you. Oh, I stand here. Anything to protect the embrace. But the gates couldn't hold. This is Hades' future. Metal. Ash. We'd better get moving. Ah, Deathbringer. Okay. And Corruptors. Cool. All at once. Just for me. Come on. This is going to be a lot. I really want that Corruptor gone, though. I'd feel a lot better if we weren't fighting both of those at once. Come on. Get over here. Yeah. I do appreciate that those are easy to knock down at the very least. All right, so you're on fire. Great. Okay. Another watcher must have snuck up on me. Ah. 
Yipes. So focused. Lose parts. Lose parts, I says. Great. Now be on more fire if you don't mind at all. Hey, what? You're not welcome. You also be on fire. Everyone, be on as much fire as possible, please. Deathbringer, you wait your turn. You know what? I wonder. Will this work? Ow. Uh, stop. This is a bit much, I say. Ow. Come on. Eh. Hide from the Deathbringer. Would you die? Thank you. Okay. Now. This is the thing we need to work on. All right. Oh, cool. You've overheated. Three. Ow. Yes. Good. Oh, we're doing damage. It's the best. Now, overheat again. I dare you. Nope. No missiles. No missiles. I'm way too focused to talk right now. Overheat. Overheat. Yes. We're doing damage. And we're doing good. Just gotta keep doing those two things. Yikes. Oh, what? Did something get your attention? Did you happen to detect some noise? What a good scout you happen to be. And... Nope. Bad shot. Be on more fire, please. Oh, hey. You are already. Great. Ah. Come on. More fire. I should really try freezing it, too. I can't remember if it's vulnerable to that. Fire. Be on fire. There you go. Awesome. Okay. Now. More damage. Oh, it's so close to dead. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've gotten so much better at this game with time. Took long enough. Sorry, Aloy. I'll be with you emotionally in a second. Right now, I'm just a little too happy about killing all these machines. Okay, I am now prepared to be somber. And also to restock Jeepers. Oh, hey, look who's here. The most attentive scout in the world. Catch. 
Have fun with that. All right, then. You know what? I suspect the instant I walk into that camp, things are going to get very loud indeed. What say we call it an episode, and uh, when we come back on Wednesday, we are going to cause a stir. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you Wednesday. Goodbye.